All right, let's take a look and see how the program runs. You can see here that I can set a breakpoint right where I want it to stop. I'll go up here and click on Run, and it'll stop right here. And then you can also see that I've lo opened up my locals, and I can see all my local variables. I'll go into Debug, Windows, and here you can see Locals. That opened up my local window. So now I keep track of my different variables. So I'll step through this, and now I can see that my raw ISBN is what's from, from, from the text box. And I'm going to look for the first dash, and that's going to go into my extra character. Now I can either mouse over this and see that it's in index 5, or else I can look down here and see extra index 5 down below. So far so good. I'll go through there. And now I'm going to take the current index, which is 0, and the extra index where we found the dash and subtracted from the current index. You'll see why I did this in a minute. And we're going to use that. That's going to give us the starting point and how many characters. So we're going to have five characters. We're going to pull a substring out and put it in our clean ISBN. And that's right down here. So when I step through that, I should expect to see 97801. I should see this part right in here. So I'll step through there. And there's my clean ISBN number. So now we want to move past that first. We want to, we're now pointing here. We want to move past there. We're going to move our current index to the sixth position. So, and that's our extra character index was five where we found the dash. So we're going to move one past it, and that's going to put in our current index, which is six. So now from that current index, we're going to start from here and look to see if there's any more dashes. And we can see that indeed there's one at position 10 right here. So it's greater than one. So now we're going to take the current index, which is six, and we're going to subtract six from 10. That's going to give us four characters. And we're going to put that, add that into our clean ISBN. So at our clean ISBN, we should see 9780112341. Let's give it a try. And what happened? We see we had 1234. So it looks like we had a problem. This does show you the good debugging technique, though, of whenever you do a line, you, you think and enunciate what's going to happen next. So we expected to see 9780112341. Instead, all we got the 1234. If you look closely at this, you'll see that we're assigning that block 1234 to our clean ISBN. And what we want to do is append it. So we need to change this to ampersand or plus, And so it adds it to it. So let me stop the program. Now I know I'm pretty good all the way up to here, so I'm going to put my breakpoint here, speed up my development a little bit, and run my program again. And there I stop, and I can see here I have my 97801, that first step. I'll step into it, and I'll say, well, I'm at Current index is 6. My, X, my dash is at 10, so I should get 4 characters, and it should add it to the end of this. Now let's see if it does that. And there, that's exactly what we want, where the dash is stripped off and we have all our numbers.